Hey lads, welcome to the video and today you all math wizards are going to jump into the world of algebra. Seems little confusing? No, it's not confusing. Algebra is like solving the puzzle problems, right? If you have a big puzzle, you solve it using a small spaces, small things. Now look at this. X plus 4 is equals to 5. Alright, you might be thinking where did this alphabet came over here? So, let me give an example for this. Suppose you have four candies. You can connect this with candies. You have four candies and your friend gave you some more candies. We don't know how many candies are given to you. But your friend gave you some more candies. And now your total number of candies are equals to 5. You had 4 and your friend gave you something more and now you have 5. So if we can solve this, we can get that x plus 4 gives us 5. So what number if you add in 4 equals to 5? Think about this. 4 is here and then that means x is 1. We know 1 plus 4 gives us so over here this x value is 1. Now this algebra helps us to write the English sentences, the situation in the maths form. And over here the letters x, y, z and other alphabets these are used to show the variables, the unknown values. While the numbers, normal numbers like 4 and 5 here, these are called the constant terms. Let us take one more example. Because algebra helps us to solve our problems in daily life. Like suppose if you want to share some candies with your friends or you want to buy your favorite toy. Here is a question for you before I end the video. You have five dollars with you and you need some more dollars so that you can buy your toy for seven dollars. Here you can solve this question and we can continue in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye bye. Bless you.